People breathe the influenza virus into their lungs, where it enters the cells that line the air passages. The invading virus turns infected cells into virus reproduction factories. Infected cells burst as they become completely filled with viruses. Each virus from a ruptured cell then becomes able to infect another cell. People develop the symptoms of flu, cough, fever, chills, and aches, as more and more cells become infected. The first cells of your immune system that encounter flu viruses are usually macrophages. Macrophages are large white blood cells that circulate throughout the body, alert for foreign intruders. They engulf flu viruses, then move fragments of the viruses, called antigens, to their surface. Macrophages are also called antigen-presenting cells because they display the antigen to white blood cells called T-helper cells. Macrophages activate T-helper cells by fitting the flu antigen into a receptor protein, much as a key fits into a lock. Activated T-helper cells in turn activate more T-cells, which divide into killer T-cells and memory T-cells. Killer T-cells attack and destroy cells infected with flu. They recognize these cells because infected cells also display bits of influenza antigen. Memory T cells remember the virus, enabling the body to recognize that strain of influenza in the future. T helper cells also activate white blood cells, called B cells. Activated B cells divide into plasma cells and memory B cells. Memory B cells remember the virus and help ward off future invasions. Plasma cells produce antibodies that attack a particular flu virus. They destroy some viruses and make others clump together so they can be easily engulfed by macrophages. After the virus is defeated, some antibodies remain in your body. If this strain of flu attacks again, the virus will be overcome before you even know you're infected.